How can I see myself as God sees me? And I just listed a couple of those attributes that I believe that gives me an indication of how God sees me. And of course, holy, because if God is holy and he created us in his image as his likeness, we too shall become holy. And I say become, I believe we were holy as we were born into this world, but because of, call it the atmosphere. Well, the scripture says that even before we were born in our mother's womb, God knew me, God knew you. Now there is intimacy because he's already known our past, our present, but also our future. And what I need to do is tap into that relationship. I'm always forgiven. If I know the love of God, if I know the creator of the universe, and he says, I created you whole and complete, then whatever my air, my sin is, as long as I quote, confess and say, that's me, I'm sorry, we're forgiven automatically. Because what Jesus did on the cross said he forgave our sins once and for all. So, but we need to tap into the relationship in order to experience that. And these other attributes, the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is within us, wonderfully made, yes. I mean, uh, righteous, yes, of course. <laughs> Co-creator, healer, eternal. We're all eternal because we're born of the spirit and beloved son and daughter, which I totally agree. I believe if we can put our focus on what God has already seen in us, that I think our light will become brighter. If I know that I'm a child of God and beloved, then to me, that's the starting point for, I call it my intimacy with my father, my mother, my creator, my best friend. You know, I don't know how you identify with your version of God, your version of intimacy. But I believe each of us who are on this call actually have a starting point. For me, it's the encounter that you had, I had with the divine. And my hope is if you haven't had that experience, the Holy Spirit can speak to your heart and just open up. And so I think we have a beautiful um, template to work with as we invite the Holy Spirit to walk among us, you know, stirring our hearts so we can actually have this embrace this love like no others. Let's just maybe place your hand on your heart right now and just invoke that presence in your life. If you have not already experienced it, just say, come Holy Spirit, reveal the Father, the, the Divine Mother's love for me in this divine space of life and holy breath. Amen. We are both God's workers and you are God's field. You are God's building. First Corinthians. What it says is we co-create with God. Sometimes I wait for God. God, do something. And God says, I already given you the tools. I already given you the finances. I already given you the, the people that you need to work things out in order to fulfill a thought, a promise that I was given. And I always say, well, God, I want this. I want, let's say, I want to speak to 200 people. Let's use that term. And it's like, okay. Then he gives me a ministry and I go and speak to 200 people. And it's like, but I have to show up for it. I have to prepare for it. I have to um, listen to what his desire of um, what thoughts to come up. I have to listen to the heart of the heart of the father and say, what do you want me to break open for the people who are listening? If you're a co-creator, what do you think God wants for this week, for the rest of the week? What do you think your mission is? Who do you think God is setting you up to speak to? Who are you going to be praying for as an intercessor? These are the building blocks. These are the field at which God desires to manifest his, her presence for you and for me. And it, it's all about the relationship. And I, use, I would use the term, it's all about prayer. It's all about that place where I start out in the morning and are blessed by the magnificence of his, her presence. And to me, worship and praise opens that door for me. And then I just get to celebrate God's presence throughout the day, tapping into his, her. Padre, are you there? Are you listening? And you know, the, the opportunity of serving is so beautiful because um, when people get touched by how the Holy Spirit connects opportunities, places that we've been, 
and you know that God is speaking through that one. And God wants to continue to bless you, me, all of us. Don't forget your fearfully and wonderfully made in God. And I'm wondering, what promise, what do you desire from maybe it's a child, maybe it's your husband, your wife, maybe a friend, a coworker that you want what to hear from them? I think the Holy Spirit is on to that. And as we just pause and just reflect on that, I think the Holy Spirit wants to answer that prayer.